What's up guys? So today's video, we're gonna be installing these uh, LED reverse lights. <clears throat> so they are the 7440. They would fit a 2013 and up Ram 1500 or even the Ram 2500s and 3500s, but as long as it has the LED factory tail lights. So if your Ram has the LED factory tail lights <clears throat> and you're looking to replace the 7440 reverse lights with LEDs, we're gonna go ahead and give these ones a try. Apparently these ones are, are the ticket. I've tried a couple other ones, if you guys have seen the other videos, and they worked, but they threw or illuminated a air light on the dash saying that the bulb was burnt out, which of course was annoying. So we're gonna go ahead and try these. Um, I went ahead and tried the same brand with the um, license plate bulbs. So if you're stopping into the channel for the first time and you wanna also change the bulbs that go around your tail or your um, license plate, check out some of those other videos and basically any LED or HID mod that you're looking at doing on your Ram 1500, 2500, 3500, check out the other videos that I have because I've basically covered every single bulb that you could possibly do, even interior lights. So check that out. These ones here, uh, this is the company again, LAS Fit, I guess is the name. There's no clarity to these. Um, they have this kind of weird color, this bronze or gold coating on them. I don't think you'll see it once it's in there, but um, they were pretty cheap. So I want to go ahead and try these. Um, again, if you guys haven't already seen, check the other videos for some of the other stuff, but let's go ahead, pop these in, super simple, and we'll do a comparison on before and after and how bright these are, and hopefully there's no check engine, or not check engine, but bulb out indications with these bulbs. All right, so super simple, you're gonna pop open your tailgate, and then you're gonna see these two screws here, they're T25 bit, so you're gonna remove those, and then when you remove the tail light, you're gonna slide it backwards, so straight back from the body. Don't try to take it out this way, but you're gonna come straight back towards the back of the vehicle. It's gonna slide and pop out, and I'll show you the tabs as well, like I did on the other videos. All right, so like I was saying, it's important to note, these are the tabs that you're gonna see here, these two pegs, and these are the slots that they slide in, so that's why you're gonna wanna slide it to the rear of the vehicle, because you have these two slots. So if you try to pop it out any other way, you might end up breaking something, so again, slide it rearwards. So now we can go ahead and change the bulb. So on the bottom of the tail light is where you're gonna find your bulb, so you're gonna turn this counterclockwise and remove it. And then of course, you're gonna wiggle this out. And these bulbs don't have a polarity, which is nice, so you don't have to worry about which way you put them in. So go ahead and pop this out. And we will shove this in here, like so. Put the bulb back in, turn it clockwise, and that's it. And then to reinstall the tail light, you're gonna line up these with those tabs like I was mentioning slide the tail light forward you're gonna hear that click and then you can go ahead and put in your two screws like so there's one and there's two okay so now we can move on to the other side but before we do let's go ahead and take a look at what they look like comparison from the LED to the other one in the daytime. All right, here's what it looks like during the day. You can see we have this nice crisp white light. And <clears throat> this is obviously the LED one. And we have the matching same brand, the LAS Fit LEDs around the license plate here, which are the nice matching LED crisp light. And on this side, of course, we have the yellowish looking halogen light. So you can see the color difference. So a lot different color that we have on the two. So of course these lights look a lot better and crisper. So let's go ahead and swap out the other light and see what they both look like during the day. All right, here's what they both look like during the day. Of course we've got that crisp white light from both of them. So hopefully they don't go and throw a light on the dash or the thing saying that there's a bulb burnt out, but let's go ahead and check out what they look like at nighttime. Okay guys, it is now nighttime of course, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you what these bulbs look like at night. And this is our favorite spot it looks like to <laughs> film these days, but basically you can kind of see the light output of these bulbs and how much they illuminate. So here's what they look like from the back. Of course, you both have nice clean white light. And that's kind of 
of light we're getting out of the back. And I will show you what it looks like inside the truck. All right, here is what it looks like with the reverse lights engaged. We have the truck in reverse. That's what it looks like on the screen. Um, so that's how it looks with those LED bulbs when in reverse on your screen. And for another comparison, this is pretty well black behind us, dark. And let's go ahead and show you what it looks like behind the truck. All right, so here's the light output from behind. Hopefully you guys can see that through this video. It does illuminate quite well. Here's standing directly behind the truck. And from the other side. So I'd say it's doing a pretty good job. But let's go ahead and compare. All right guys, here is the halogen bulbs. So this is the color we're getting at nighttime. And the color from the back. And this side against our infamous wall over here that we've been projecting against lately. And let's go ahead over into the complete darkness over there and we can double check. So here are the halogen bulbs in the darkness. And I think it's safe to say that the other ones are definitely brighter and the light color um, with them being the brighter white definitely helps so this is more of a yellowish color area behind that's kind of light output we're getting and of course from the other side that's what we're looking like so let's go ahead and double check what it looks like as well on the display when you're in reverse all right, this is what it looks like on the screen in reverse. So it doesn't look too bad, or of course in reverse. And it's pretty dark outside. It's the same darkness as it was a minute ago. Um, but same darkness comparison from both uh, lights as far as the halogens and the LEDs. But I think it's safe to say that the LEDs are a little bit brighter for sure. So unfortunately guys, it looks like those LED bulbs from LAS Fit are still throwing the code or message on the dash. I'm gonna go ahead and show you. So it boots up saying no stored messages at first, but as we give it a second, I need gas, <laughs> but if we go up, to our messages, we scroll over, back up, light out. So I've cycled it a few times, driven it for a few minutes, still giving me this message, guys. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull them out. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. So I'm gonna pull those bulbs out, return them. I'm not gonna spend, you know, 20 or $25 on bulbs that are gonna throw a message on my dash. Um, I am still going to find ones that work. I know I could probably just go to the typical vendors or everyone else goes and gets it done, but um, I'm trying to get something that everybody can have easily accessible and also return on Amazon if they have any issues. So um, I'm doing this all on my own dime. Nobody's giving me any product, but I'm always gonna give you guys an honest review. Uh, I know some people actually said that these bulbs worked for them on the, their truck, which is why I was thinking that I would try them because I tried those bulbs on the license plate LEDs and they worked perfectly fine with no messages. But these ones, of course, um, are showing that message that I just showed you guys. So they're coming out, they're going back to Amazon, but I will find the right ones, the ones that work or come up with a solution. But I feel like if I'm gonna put a resistor on there on those wires, I'm gonna go for the brightest damn ones you can because you can get super bright ones, not just those mediocre ones. You can get ones that are like 1200 lumens or something like that. So. Um, I think that's per side, but I have to double check. Anyways, I know they're super bright and have way more LED chips on them, but if we're gonna go that route with the resistors, we're gonna go full on brightness and just make it crazy. So um, if you like this video, guys, give it a thumbs up. Um, also, if you guys wanna share this video, feel free to share it wherever you like. That's the whole purpose of this, is to share it and help other people. So make sure to do that. If you haven't already subscribed, uh, click that subscribe button. And also, if you're still subscribed, uh, click that bell next to it, because uh, I guess, as far as I know, this is news to me, but that bell next to it, if you click that little bell, it'll actually notify you when a new video comes. So I promise not to waste your guys' time with bogus content, but any videos that I make, hopefully will be helpful um, and be doing fun car stuff or truck stuff or mods and all that kind of nature. So we'll see you guys on the next video, guys, and thanks again.